GetRightCoach.com. Preloaded IOLs are going to be the future. And let's try to decipher some of these crazy model number meanings. So here's a case, obviously, end of the case. Capture bags full of viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. We're going to inject this in here. Now, you notice that I have a chopper in my left hand and the IOL injector in the right. And look how consistently and smoothly that lens comes down there. So this is this new injector from Alcon, the Clarion, that has a little mini CO2 cartridge in the injector itself. And so there's a trigger for your index finger to push down on, and that releases that gas in a very slow and controlled manner, and this lens comes out very smoothly. So no twisting or pushing or plungers needed. It's literally just a, an index finger trigger or a button to push. And you can see you can use a second hand to help get that in the capture bag. So as soon as that lens goes in, your other hand is free. So the non-dominant, or in this case, the left hand, can help deliver the lens. So let's do it again with another case. So injector tip going in, we can start to deliver it outside the eye a little bit to get the lens moving down. You can see that the cohesive viscoelastic versus the dispersive in there in the eye, there comes the lens in the capture bag goes. Now the chopper with the other hand can help get that in the capture bag. And if you need to, you can obviously come out of the eye and retry, but you should be able to use those two hands inside the eye at the same time. So it comes out very nicely. So a very controlled delivery. So I'll show you again yet another case. And I think all manufacturers are going to basically come out with these preloaded lenses. And we already see it from many, from Alcon. This is a, they had a previous UltraCert. Now they have this one. Bausch & Lomb has a preloaded one. Johnson & Johnson. I think all the companies essentially are going to come out with or already have preloaded injectors. And the nice part is there's no manipulation of the lens. You don't have to have a manual loading. Your technician or even you as a surgeon don't have to manually load the lens. And there's less handling of the lens. And I think... With these new injectors, you have a higher degree of being able to deliver it accurately the first time. So I've probably done coming on 100 of these, and I've had zero that came out misloaded or zero issues at all. And I think the manufacturer is doing a great job in delivering these products to us. So let's go back and compare. Now, here's the typical way of doing a similar lens. And so we try not to hold the optic, just hold that haptic optic junction. And then we've got to load the lens into this cartridge ourselves. So make sure you have the correct orientation. There's that anti-S formation. Let's get that in there, get that leading haptic hopefully tucked on top of the optic. And you can see this does take a little bit of work and you know we're good at doing this and our technicians are good at doing this. But if we can have it preloaded, you know, all the better. Now let's talk about the names. This lens is CNA0T0. Not just my guesses, but I'm thinking C stands for Clarion. That's their name of the new lens. N is natural, which is probably the yellow tint there. A means it's acrylic. And then 0T0. Zero zero. I'm guessing the first zero means that there's no depth of focus or add or anything else on it. And the, the remaining T0 means it's non-toric. And right, and T3 or T4, or T5 would be toric. And I anticipate the company will come out with toric versions of these lenses as well. In fact, if you look in your crystal ball for the future, I think all companies are going to have their entire range of lenses all come preloaded. So this works, the standard way of doing it, but I think we're ready to move beyond this. It does take a little bit longer. There's a little bit more variability in doing it with a manual load. So right now, a lot of the more premium lenses, uh, such as bifocal, trifocal, EDF lenses don't come preloaded. Some do, which is great. And I think, though, the future is going to be to move to having all of them preloaded. So again, one more time here now with the preloaded lens. This is a patient with a bit of a deep orbit, a little bit of a poor axis, but you get the idea. And then there it goes, delivering it in the capture bag. And then nice with this eye, with the pupil a little bit smaller, we can really take our time and make sure that we get that lens right where we want it. So a very slow and controlled delivery. And then I do wish the manufacturer would give us the secret code to the model names they're choosing because they're not exactly intuitive in a lot of the cases. And uh, we can guess at it. And we memorize these six-digit names, but um, or five digits sometimes. But I think it'd be very helpful if they kind of clued us into that. Or maybe consult some ophthalmologists in the choosing of your next model name instead of having the engineers, who are obviously brilliant, but uh, don't have to memorize these crazy names like we do. So at the end of the case, everything looks great. So I encourage you to try all the lenses. I like all the manufacturers. I like to use all the lenses. 
And I think of the lenses that we're using now, we want to switch almost all of them over to preloaded. I do like this new Clarion lens. I think it's great. I also like, I've been using the iHands Toric, which comes preloaded as well. Different type of injector. That one's more of a plunger style. But I think we're going to move towards all those. And I think Bausch Lomb also has a very nice injector system and other makers as well. So the more manufacturers that give us these products, the better. We want the most variety possible in our surgery centers. We want to be able to tailor exactly the best option for each individual patient, not a one size fits all. So here you go, see all the lenses here. One thing to notice is the ones that have a little orange stripe on them, those are the higher power lenses. Let me show you that. And they have a bigger tip. So it says their C nozzle on the top, because that's a 27 and a half, compared to the D nozzle on the bottom, because that's a normal size lens. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. Cataractcoach.com. Check it out.